right. <clears throat> Help you guys with laying out your parts for the laser. So we're going to first, um, once it's all assembled and you want to cut out your box, you're going to first start a sketch. Make sure that your assembly is activated up here and you're going to make a sketch. And this sketch should be out in a plane that's not on your box, but out in this, this area out here. So just a flat plane, and you're going to capture the position. And I'd like you to just draw a rectangular box that's 12 inches tall by 24 inches wide. This is going to be the size of the piece of wood that we put into the laser. If it disappears, um, we're going to turn on sketches. Um, right over here. Uh, call me over if it disappears, but um, that would mean that your assembly sketch um, eyeball is not turned on. So there it is. Now you're going to go to design and you're going to switch it over to manufacture. Give it a moment. Once it flips, then you're going to go to this little setup button, the drop down, and you're going to go to create manufacturer model. Give it another moment. Once it creates a manufacturing model, <clears throat> if you click on this little arrow under manufacturing models, you'll see a model um, with a radio button next to it. Right click and edit that model. And then under the modify, you're gonna go down to arrange. You can see the picture of what it's gonna do. So now we want to arrange all of the pieces that we want to cut onto here. So if you open up the little uh, triangle next to Automata Box or whatever the name of your assembly is, it'll open up all the parts. We're only going to click on the ones that we want to cut. So for me, I want to cut the top, the left, not the front, but the back, I'm sorry, the bottom, the back, and the right. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look and make sure that those are the ones that I want to cut. And then I'm going to click on Envelope and I'm going to click on the face just like this and I'm going to give it a moment and you'll see them apply apply to this surface and I'm going to click OK and now you see all my pieces laying flat inside the nested area which represents the laser how are we doing Mr. Reinhardt? Doing good. good I have a guest okay <clears throat> now we're going to make a sketch we'll click on create sketch and then we're going to click on um, the face of these parts. And then we're going to project. So you can press the P button on your keyboard, or you can go down to create, project. And then you're going to click each of the faces of these parts, and they'll light up. And then you're going to click OK. Make sure that it has a, a purple line around all of these, and if it does, um, what you've just done is you've created, if you open up this little sketch folder, um, I'm sorry, this sketch folder up here, if you toggle the light on and off, you're going to see it turn on and off. This is the sketch, sketch one, that just created the geometry. You're going to right click on that sketch and you're going to save as DXF. Put it somewhere in your computer. I'm going to put mine in my downloads and I'm going to call it Automata laser box. So that's what you're going to bring into Lightburn or bring it over to um, Schoology and submit it for me to cut. But that is your um, your file. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to either if I don't have time to cut it, I will put it into Schoology and Mr. Geist. That'd be me. We'll cut it. But if you have time, you can bring it right into Lightburn. And you can import it, file, import, and then you can bring it in, Automata laser box. There it is, nice and neatly nested. And then make sure that you change your speed and your power, because since we're cutting a quarter of an inch thick material, make sure that your speed is always set to 20, which it already is. And your power, both minimum and maximum, are oop, set to 90, which it already is, but repetition is best. Um, once everything looks good, 
you're going to put a flash drive in and you're going to hit save UD5 and you're going to pick the flash drive. That's it. Bring it over to the laser and cut it. All right, that's it.